Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. Today, and I do mean today, there's light coming in over there to prove I am not a vampire. Uh, I typically film pretty late at night after we get home from work. Um, but today we are doing set 8531, Pohatu, the Toa of Stone. Now I'm going with this one uh, next in the lineup specifically for two reasons. One, uh, this is the last canister I have for these. I don't know where the other three are. I looked through every box in my home. There's a decent chance they're somewhere at my parents' place. Um, and maybe at some point I'll go try to find them. Uh, and then second, uh, on the Liwa video, I had a short discussion with somebody, and they pointed out that uh, Pohatu is numerically the first of the six Bionicles. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that just for you. So at Team Fortress 2 SGR, here you go, bud. So this set came out in 2001. It has 49 pieces. It's a little bit more than the last two we did. Uh, retailed for $6.99. Back when Lego was decent priced. Uh, there was a second release, just like all the other ones, that had a mini CD-ROM with it. Um, currently on the secondary market, this goes for about $9 by himself, without the canister, the instructions, or his little boulder here. Um, and it kind of just goes up from there in various states of completion. Most of them don't have boxes. Um, they do have currently four sealed listings that range between $111 to $167. Uh, if you want to check it out on eBay, uh, they start around $20. Um, they do have a few more on there that have everything, like the instructions, the canister, the, the rock, um, around that price range. So if you want to get the entire thing, probably be the easiest way to find it. And then I've, I think I only saw two sealed listings, and the lowest one was about 140. So if you did want to get this sealed, uh, looks like Bricklink might be your cheapest option. But I would just recommend getting the completed th thing, not sealed. Save yourself some money, uh, unless of course you want it to keep it sealed. That's that's on you. Um, so we're gonna go over some of these details. I'm gonna start with the scanister here. This is the same as all the other ones. Some sick artwork. Um, there's literally nothing different other than the, the art and the color of the cap. Um, so there's not much to say on that. Uh, I also got this one for $3.40 way back when. Um, going into the actual figure, he's actually a very unique one. Because, as you can tell, the main body is upside down compared to all the other ones. So that's the typical orientation for them. He's got gears down here. Uh, and he actually has two arms. As opposed to all the other ones, they have one for... I mean, three of them have one. I'm saying arms. I meant hands. He has hands. More than one hand. Three of them have one hand. No, two of them have one hand. Uh, <laughs> two of them have no hands, and he and one other have technically two hands, I suppose. The other one counts as having two. Um, he's got these ball joints here, so... Uh, none of the others have shoulder decorations here. Uh, none of the others have these little leg pins, so he's kind of the most decorated of all of them has the most fingers these shoulder joints are not very stable i think probably have some stress cracks up in there um these are very old parts um he has sort of like a hunch forward thing and kung fu kick action uh they have one stable leg because otherwise he'd just go woo every time you put him down. Um, his weapons are some sweet shoes, bruh. 
what are those? <laughs> He's wearing clogs, basically. Um, his whole shtick is kicking boulders. You know, he's the toe of stone. He controls rocks. It's quite convenient, really. Um, basically, he's the soccer player of the Bionicles. <laughs> uh, and also, since he has two hands, he files all their taxes for them. Uh, he also carries the groceries in. Um, drives, you know, two hands, he's able to drive. You know, various mundane tasks the others are not able to complete. I'm I'm just kidding. They don't have cars. Not yet, at least. They do have vehicles later on. Um, but yeah, so he is both the most detailed and unique of the six, and also kind of the most mundane looking, I want to say, because he's just a guy. He's a guy that likes to kick rocks. Uh, but don't let that fool you. He's pretty strong. Uh, if you want to really appreciate just how strong he is, go to your nearest target that still has those big concrete balls out front and kick him as hard as he can. Warning, don't do what I just suggested. You will hurt yourself. You are not a biomechanical being of elemental power. Don't be dumb. But if you do, you're a dummy. <laughs> you know, it's your life. Do with it what you will. I, in the meantime, is, I'm just going to sit down here in my basement and play with toys. All right, guys. I will see you on the next video. Later.